Hiya Plastic People. So the slow boat from China finally got in with the flex plate for the Saturn II. Came in a nondescript white bubble package. Uh, and then inside was just this. Uh, this is the build plate that we'll be putting it on. So let's see what we've got. Still have uh, vintage computer stuff all over. So kind of sharing space here today and doing it a little different. Uh, nothing in here except for the two magnets and the two build plates. No sandpaper, no uh, instructions or anything like that. I know how they go on, so I'm not too worried about instructions. Let's see if we can get these off. Uh, it will only be one of these two magnets that it came as two, so I, in order to get two build plates, you had to order two sets. So I ordered two sets. Gives me an extra magnet. That's fine. Not going to hurt anything. I'll put the other one aside and use it later. Uh, these build plates, aside from not having the wham bam uh, engraved on them, look pretty much the same as the wham bam plates. So that's good. Uh, there is no, doesn't seem to be a film on them. They flex pretty decently. Uh, I'll double check and make sure there's no film before I try to use them. Set those to the side. Magnet. Uh, they are thicker. Of course, they're going to add some thickness. So I printed out a couple of these little things here. Uh, I've already installed one on the printer. It's just a little spacer that uh, should be similar in thickness to the build plates and it's actually a little bit thicker which is perfectly fine because I felt that was a little tight and then I've got a window film installer to put on the magnet that'll help squeegee it down uh, I think I might go get some sandpaper there's a little nick there from when I was removing a a print you can see it's gotten some use so let me see if I've got sandpaper here and if not I'll go get some all right so now we got some sandpaper so just kind of rough this up a bit uh, I'm do it this way that way hopefully it stays fairly flat and that Nick has nicely smoothed out, so that's good. All right. Smell some resin on there. So now we'll hit it with some alcohol. Get this uh, cleaned up. You can see how much is there. Uh, I, this is 400 grit. I was looking for like a 320 or something along those lines. But I went from 80 to 150 to 220 to 400 to 1,000. So uh, I didn't want to go too awful fine. But I had to go with what I had in the garage. Okay. So we've got that roughed up. Take our magnet. Just like installing the magnetic plates on a boron, find a good spot to peel. And uh, get the adhesive back a little bit. It would probably not have hurted to hurt to uh, get the temperature in the house a little warmer. It was only about 48 today, so. Not as nice uh, and warm as I would like it to have been. Trying to get it as even as I can. I can always trim it up with my deburring tool if I need to. So we got a good start there. There we go. Now we can just start peeling it back and working it down.
this won't be under a whole lot of heat like a filament printer will so I'm not as worried about bubbles in it but you still want it to be flat as possible it looks like the magnet is just a little I'm um, even on this end but I got a little overhang here on the metal so but not too bad and then these can pop right on there and then hopefully they will hold nicely this kit was uh, from AliExpress I'll put a link in the description but it was about half the price of the wham bams so I figured I'd at least give it a try uh, I don't remember who made this kit right off uh, just some it might have been Fizet, uh could have been somebody else but we'll see how it works over the next few days I'll give it a, a few tries run it through see how well things are popping off of it I might have to scuff this up a little bit uh, almost looks like there is some kind of film on it but I'm not really feeling one to peel off so uh, it may not have anything I don't see any place to kind of start it but uh, there's spots where it looks like it might have a film and spots where it looks like it doesn't. Uh, let's see what this does. It won't hurt to have some scuffs on it. Help to make the uh, resin stick a little better. It looks like it's hitting metal and not plastic so maybe it's uh maybe there's no film so we'll find out uh, and uh, i'll get a few prints done see how well it works especially this magnet it definitely seemed like the uh wham bam that i had on my creality ldo2 was a stronger magnet uh, but as long as it can resist being pulled straight up for those suction forces whenever uh, it's moving layers it'll be all right what'll be bad is if I go in there and it's pop loose and then reattach and pop loose and reattached and uh, just have one big blob down at the bottom uh, where it uh, didn't if that ends up being the case I'll have to order the wham bam which the plates will probably be interchangeable i'll just have to change out the magnet but we'll give it a try see what it does and uh go from there i will uh get a few prints and then let you guys know uh, y'all have a great day and thanks for watching